Hello everyone, let's start with question number 1 from exercise 4.3. So here it is given that we need to find the roots of quadratic equation using quadratic formula. So sare quadratic formula use karke hume iske parts banne. It has 7 parts in it. So we have to use quadratic formula in this. So quadratic formula is given by minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So this is the quadratic formula we have. Some people like this, like to write this minus b plus minus under root d. They define b square minus 4ac. So you can write either like this or the above part. So it's your choice. So let's start with the first one. We have 2x square minus 3x minus 5 equals 0. So what I will do is, I will take, I will write a, it is b, sorry, it is 2, b is minus 3, c is minus 5. Now we will put these all values into quadratic formula we have. So it will be minus b, keep minus here, then write the value for minus, minus 3, that is b, b as minus 3, plus minus under root b square b is minus 3 square minus 4 a c a is 2 c is minus 5 now and write over 2 a a is 2 here so we get the value of x as positive 3 plus minus under root 9 3 square is 9 9 minus plus it will be plus here 4 into 2 is 8 and 8 into 5 is 40. Then we get 4 at the bottom. So we will get 3 plus minus under root 49 over 4. So from here we get two values. That is 3 plus minus under root 49 over 4. Sorry 3 plus I will write. And another one will be 3 minus under root 49 over 4. So under root 49 can be written as 7. So we get two values that is 3 plus 7 over 4 and 3 minus 7 over 4. 3 plus 7 will be 10 over 4. 10 over 4 can be written as 5 over 2 and 3 minus 7 is minus 4. Minus 4 over 4 will be minus 1. So that's your solution for the first part. Again we need to start with the second part. Again we need to use quadratic formula here. So it is x equal minus b. So b in this case is 13. So minus as it is then you need to write the value for b. Plus minus under root b square. b is 13 square. Minus 4 ac. a is 5 and c is 8 over 2a. a is 5 again. So we get the value as minus 13 plus minus under root 169. Take away 4 into 5 is 20. 20 into 8 is 160. So it will be under root 9. And under root 9 can be written as 3. So first define this value minus 13 plus minus under root 9 over 10. So it has two values in it. That is minus 13 plus 3 over 10. Why? Because under root 9 can be written as 3. So we have two values here. It will be minus 13 plus 3 over 10. Other will be minus 13 minus 3 over 10. So this will be minus 10 over 10. It can be written as minus 1. The second one can be written as minus 16 over 10. So it can be reduced to minus 8 over 5. So we have two roots as minus 1 and minus 8, 8 over 5. Let's start with the third one. Third one is again 3x minus 3x square plus 5x plus 12 equals 0. Again, we will be using the same formula. x equal minus b. b in this case is 5 
plus minus under root b square b is 5 minus 4 a c a is minus 3 c is 12 over 2 into a a is minus 3 so the first term as it is minus 5 plus minus 25 minus 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 is plus 4 into 3 is 12 12 into 12 is 144 and at the bottom you get 2 into minus 3 it is minus 6 so we have minus 5 plus minus under root 169 over minus 6 so again you can have two values out of this one will be minus 5 plus 13 why 13 because under root 169 can be written as 30 so it is plus plus 30 minus 6 and the other one will be minus 5 minus 13 over minus 6 so minus 5 plus 13 is 8 over minus 6 or it can be written as 4 over 3 or you can write it as minus 4 over 3. Second will be minus 5 minus 13. It will be minus 18. Minus 18 over minus 6. It will be positive 3. So we have two roots again here. One is minus 4 over 3 and another is 3. Let's start with the next one. Fourth one. So fourth one is minus x square plus 7x minus 10. So again we need to use the same formula minus b. b in this case is 7 plus minus under root 7 square minus 4 ac. a in this case is minus 1. c in this case is minus 10. Over 2a. Just a second. Two a a in this case is minus one, so we get minus seven plus minus under root forty nine, and we get minus sign here, and we get forty here. Four into ten is forty, and at the bottom we get minus two. So here we have minus seven plus minus forty nine minus forty. It will be 9 only over minus 2. So from this again we can get two values that is minus 7 plus under root 9 can be written as 3. So it will be plus 3 over minus 2. Then the second is minus 7 minus and sorry minus under root 3. Nahin. It will be 3 only 3 over minus 2. So, minus 7 plus 3 is minus 4. Minus 4 over minus 2 is positive 2. So, these, these two gets cancelled out. Then we have minus 7 minus 3. Minus 10. Minus 10 over minus 2. It can be reduced to positive 5. So, this is from fourth part. Now, the next one. Fifth part of it. Fifth part is x square plus 2 under root 2x. Minus 6 equals 0. So we get x as minus b. It will be 2 under root 2 plus minus under root b square. b is under root 2 under root whole square minus 4 ac. a in this case is 1. c in this case is minus 6. Over 2 into a. 2 into a is 2 into 1. So we get minus 2 under root 2 plus minus. Now when you solve 2 under root 2 whole square, it will be 4 and 2. So it will be 8. Square on 2, so it will be 4. Square on under root 2, it will be only 2. So it will be positive 8. Minus, not not minus, it will be minus minus plus 4 into 6 is 24 over 2. Now we get 24 plus 8 as 24 plus 8 as 32. So we get two values here minus 2 under root 2 plus 32 over 2 
and another will be minus 2 under root 2 minus under root 32 over 2. So these are your two values. Let us further solve this. So under root 32 can be written as plus 4 under root 2 over 2. Again I will replace under root 32 with plus 4 under root 2. So it is minus 2 under root 2 first. Then we have 4 under root 2 over 2. So this can be simplified. These two terms can be simplified easily. So it will be 2 under root 2 over 2. On the other hand you have minus 6 under root 2 over 2. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled out. Then 2 and 6 gets cancelled out. It will be minus 3 under root 2. So we have two zeros that is under root 2 and another is minus 3 under root 2. Let's start with the sixth one. It is again the same we need to use that is quadratic formula x minus b minus 3 under root 5 is the b part plus minus under root b square b square is minus 3 under root 5 whole square minus 4 ac over 2 into a. a is 1 in this case. So we get 3 under root 5 plus minus under root. Let's solve minus 3 under root 5 whole square. So 3 square is 9. Under root 5 whole square is 5 only. So it will be 45. So 45 minus 40 over 2. So here we get two values again. 45 minus 40 is 5 under root 5 plus under root 5 over 2. And another value is 3 under root 5 minus under root 5 over 2. So we get two values out of this that is 4 under root 5 over 2. And 2 under root 5 over 2. 2 and 2 gets cancelled out. 2 and 4 gets cancelled out and we get 2 under root 5. So we have two zeros. That is 2 under root 5 and another is under root 5. Okay, so last one for question number 1 is 1x square minus under root 11x plus 1 equals 0. So we have to find x. We are given with minus b first. Minus b is minus minus under root 11 because the value for b is minus under root 11 plus minus under root b square. b is minus under root 11 whole square minus 4ac. a is half. c is 1 over 2a. a is half. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled out. We have now minus minus as under root 11 plus minus under root 11 under root 11 whole square gets cancelled out. We are left with 11 only positive 11. Then 2 and 4 can be cancelled out. You get 2 here. So minus 2. So we get answer as under root 11. There is nothing at denominator. So under root 11 plus minus under root 9. Under root 9 can be written as 3. So we get two values that is under root 11. Under root 11 plus 3. And under root 11 minus 3. So these are your two solutions to last equation. And thank you for watching this video. I know it is very long.